I'm gonna try to answer these questions here in my dressing room at work, and so I'm gonna have to kind of keep it quiet. So I hope you can hear me, and um, I hope it works doing it like this. The first um, question is from my lover girl, Kate Mancy. Thank you for sending me a question. It's so cute of you. Um, so your question is, how do I keep myself so grounded? And I'll tell you, I think that my family life has always been more important to me than my work life. And I think I never went to parties. I have always hung out with my very best friends from when I was in high school. I don't really talk, actor, workshop, uh, you know, whatever, with anybody except maybe um, Michael Bruno. And I think um, I just made my home life my number one priority. I think that's how, actually. I think it might be that even when things are crazy, things always get better. I think I've always known that, but I see it over and over in my life at the craziest times that it passes and the sun comes out again, you know what I mean? Um, and maybe everybody tells you when your kids are little and it's just so insane and you think you're gonna pull your hair out all the time, that it goes so quickly. But when you're in the mix of it, you can't grasp that. And um, I think maybe that, I think that's why being a grandma is gonna be great because I understand it really goes fast and each phase will pass. <laughs> hey! um, you know, I would say something that happens in my life a lot that I think, uh, well, well, I don't think I think about it when it happens, but as I sit here reflecting on your question, I think uh, I'm a good cheerleader for the people in my family and the people around me, and I'm, I'm lucky that I have a very happy disposition but I also am lucky because I see the positive in almost every situation so I find myself cheering up my family all the time and my friends and so maybe that maybe I'm the um, the go-to girl for uh, cheering up and I think that's a good quality I think that's a good accomplishment that and my other accomplishment I really like is um, being a pretty good cook entertainer. I, um, especially, especially party thrower. I always say that um, our family knows how to throw a party. Is that something I should be proud about? I think so. I think I should. Um, you know, I, I seem to gravitate to the water. Maybe because I'm a Pisces, I'm a fish. But um, I love Hawaii. And my husband and I have had some beautiful trips in Hawaii. In fact, on our 30th anniversary, he took me to the Mauna Kea, I think it's called, in Hawaii, which was fabulous. And as anybody knows who follows my Instagram, I go sailing or boating or something a lot of weekends, and I love the water. It brings me incredible peace and happiness, and um, so generally places with water. That's where I like to go. You know, we don't try to make each other laugh in scenes. It's actually the opposite. We try not to make each other laugh in scenes because, well, especially here because um, we shoot everything so fast. So nobody has a sense of humor about us um, taking more time than we should. So that's out. But I will say, um, and this happens all the time, when we are running lines, like in my dress room, and I, I have posted some of these before, uh, we'll be running them and all of a sudden he'll say something like, no. And he'll re he'll say the sentence and it's really written, not how I've paraphrased it. And and uh, I'll just laugh hysterically because he's basically saying, you know, that's not proper English what you're saying, and you know, blah blah blah, whatever. But um, we on this um, performance that we're working on for November thirteenth, um, it's interesting because somebody that was there said it's so obvious that we have known each other for so long and worked together because. We're just so incredibly comfortable around each other, and I think that is it. We know each other, we're, we trust each other, we have fun uh, together here, and 
and we're both big fans of um, we're both big fans of the show. <laughs> Sorry, somebody's talking. The show and our characters. So um, we always want to give it our all and find our moments. We gotta find our moments every time. You know, I go through phases. I go through total phases. I, I, um, I, 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 I go where I'm only cooking vegan for a few weeks, or vegetarian, or um, I like Giada De Laurentiis on her cooking shows because I think her recipes, she was they're easy, and um, she throws in some fresh herbs, simple ones that I can have in my yard. Um, but I am always looking at recipes. And even today, now that I've been doing this Whole30, there's a couple people here at work that are doing it. And uh, this guy and I, it's so funny, we stopped each other in the hallway and we were totally exchanging recipes and he was giving me his phone number and I'm texting him pictures and stuff of the, the things I've been making. Making that, that carrot nut bread thing I made is so amazing. Um, so I get a lot of my inspirations from other people. And my girlfriends and I, we send recipes around and, um, uh, and I and I look at magazines. I look at a lot of magazines, but um, I get mostly from picking at it. I think then I don't really watch shows. You know, I always think like I would have liked it sort of back in like early 1900s. Um, and I love when I, even in my own town when I see pictures of uh, in the early 1900s because out here in California, you know, that's about when we started here in the late 1800s, unfortunately, but. Um, I think back then, the only bummer is that when you see in movies when they're in their long skirts and they're dragging through the mud or the dirt and stuff, or it's hot and they're still wearing the long skirts, like that would be a drag. And that women couldn't vote and had no say, that would be a super drag. And back in the suffragette time when a husband could, you know, kick you out and uh, keep the kids and you had no rights, like that would be bad. So I think in certain ways, where we are now is great, but um, I like costumes. Maybe I just should have been a, in the circus or something. Maybe that. I don't know. Maybe I don't need a different era. I just need uh, more costumes. Um, but I'd say probably the early 1900s. Well, if I have like Pandora on or one of those kind of sort of station things, I usually do French Cafe. I don't know why I just love that kind of music or Bossa Nova or something, but I love French Cafe music. Um, but I am actually a total like uh, pop whatever like I love Michael Jackson um, I even like some Justin Bieber songs frightening I don't know I think I saw him on that that guy who drives around the karaoke car thing and I thought I like I like these songs um, mainly I'm just a total pop whatever but I love the Beatles I love um, you know whatever my husband's playing some country or Beatles or um, jazz, anything. But you know, I'm just gonna put on a station while I'm cooking or something. I'll put on French Cafe. Just love that too. Or Pink Martini, that first album, or I don't know if it's the first, but that yellow cover, Pink Martini one. I love that too. Hey! Well, one, I try not to eat it or eat just a little, and I don't do it that often. Um, but I did see, um, I did see a chef once that said that she had a bowl of strawberries on the counter. Um, and so she would eat those instead of eat the, um, the sweets. Um, but you know, I, and I've blogged about this so many times, I am always, always, always recommitting to exercise and eating properly. I am, I'm always, and it gets away from me and I get up five pounds and I'm short and I'm already kind of, you know, where I shouldn't go five more pounds. And so I'm always trying to bring it back. And I am re realizing now that I can pat myself on the shoulder that I keep trying to bring it back. Like, I think you can't cross over to saying, I give up and what the hell, and I'm just gonna eat everything because I'm fat anyway and I don't care. So <clears throat> I certainly do think that sometimes, but oh my God, all this talking. <laughs> I do think that sometimes, but, and I go there and I do that, but I always try to bring it back. And then I have to say, uh, you know, I mean, whatever the latest is, I suppose, but this whole 30 program of just changing my eating, it's cut out a lot of cravings and I'm eating like crazy yummy food and 
Um, I don't feel deprived, I don't feel crazy, and the weight seems to be coming off. So I have a feeling it's more, you know, what we're eating than how much we're eating, you know? You gotta take sugar out of your diet. I love sugar, love chocolate, but you gotta take it out. Well, one, I have to say, I have to admit, I had great help, I had a great uh, nanny who would come on the days that I worked and would be there with the kids, and that is a savior, that's a savior. But um, I have to say, when I first started being a CASA, they assigned me uh, in consecutively two 14-year-old boys, and I was like, I just got over having these teenage boys. Like, I went into this for the babies. But maybe I could talk, maybe I know how to talk to teenagers, so maybe that was beneficial. But I know that at the end of, um, Sorry, I know at the uh, end so of, I'm gonna try to talk to over that. There, I know that's too hard. It's so loud in my room, I'm sorry. So um, when they were, um, when my last one, and he's a doll baby, but when he was just about to go to college, my husband and I were looking at our watches saying, how much longer? I think it's like um, pregnancy. Uh, at nine months, you are so ready for them to get out. And I think that high school, it's like that, and it's set up like that in nature to, you're over them and you want them out. You gotta kick them out. I mean, it'd be hard to kick out your you know, one-year-old, but by this time, it's like independence for all necessary. And I will tell you, I don't drink during the day because I always feel terrible. I'm kind of feel like if I'm gonna, I have to start my drinking and continue it. <laughs> I can't have some cocktails in the afternoon and then go do something else. I never feel well. But I will say, if I am ever in uh, like Hawaii on the beach, I'll order banana daiquiri. Because for me, some reason that feels like a vacation. But um, I, uh, my cocktail of choice is a Grey Goose Cosmopolitan. I love that. That's a tough one, and my husband's always asking me that question. He wants to go up to like Washington or something. I think Santa Barbara, <laughs> which of course that's in California. I know it's in California. Um, but I will say, I was just in Nashville with Missy, and she took me on the most incredible tour of where she lives and that whole area, and that's pretty special. And tons to do, and super fun. Um, also, New York City. My mother in law is there, and um, she, one, she worked till she was 80 probably, and she ballroom dances four nights a week. She goes to the theater, she goes to the movies, she goes out to dinner, she goes to lunches. Things can be delivered. You have a super in your building who can fix and change your light bulbs and, and a doorman to take your packages and to keep the boogeyman out, and I think that's pretty fun. Oh, and you don't have to drive because there's a cab for everything. So maybe New York City. Hmm. Um... My husband and I have been together 35 years, 36 next month, together, well, together 36, uh, married 31 uh, next month. Um, I will say to ride the wave is part of it, to not just want to jump ship when things get out of hand and things aren't going well, and sometimes that goes on for way too long, um, but to always bring it back. I think for us, we were lucky because we had, um, I always joke, but this is true. We met and it was love at first sight and I think we always had that and we do have that now and we had a, we have a strong foundation and I think as we get older we really appreciate each other more and more and more and also when we were married, I mean we are married but you know during the, when our kids were growing up, I always thought that nobody would love my kids more than him so we're gonna remarry or something. <laughs> I mean I, th I thought I was getting divorced or anything but you know um, but mainly just to try to communicate and keep the communication going because I'll tell you, if you fall asleep with the wheel on that, that's a disaster. But uh, if you can hang in there and try to work things out, if there's some rough patches, I feel like we're in the glory time now. I mean, I think that now um, we're just enjoying the gravy. Our kids are grown, everybody's happy, everybody's doing well, everybody supports themselves, everybody doesn't live with us, they all don't live with us. And um, and we really enjoy being together. We spend all of our time together. And um, we really like each other. 
But we also paid attention to each other, and we had date nights, always. We always went out on Friday or Saturday night, and um, we took time to take trips together, and we paid attention and didn't lose sight of each other, and um, that has paid off big time. I was actually in a play when I was 19 at a place called South Coast Repertory Theater um, that's in California, and he was visiting a friend whose girlfriend was in the play. She brought him to the play and uh, introduced us, you know, just at a lunch or something, and it was love at first sight. Absolutely, 100%, I would say, for both of us, and he says that to people too, so I imagine it's the truth. Although I did just say that last thing, I believe everything people say, but no, I'm kidding. Um, anyway, it's funny because a lot of people that were at that play, um, uh, the, the next play I did after that was the first Christmas Carol they did at this theater, and then my niece ended up doing that play a million years later, and uh, like 23 years later or something. And um, so my husband, we took our kids and we went and saw her in it. And some of the same cast member was, members were in it. And it was so funny to be there where they had seen us all meet when I was 19 and we were back with our you know, 23 year old um, kids and stuff. Like it was crazy, but um, we had like a couple dates. He went back to Chicago where he lived and I flew out twice to see him and then moved there. So all within four months and a couple dates, um, I moved back to see him. I moved back there to live back there in Chicago where he was. And then we were there for about a year and a half and then we came back to Los Angeles and then we've been here ever since. And back then, you know, they didn't have FaceTime and they didn't have um, cell phones. And so our phone bills were crazy, like $500. I would be like, oh my God, I'm gonna get an extra waitress shift, uh, 10 extra waitress shifts to pay for this. Anyway, it was very sweet times, and it paid off, because here I am, but I will say I'm a total leap of faither. That was a leap of faith, and completely paid off. Hey! Hey! Um, gosh, I think I have three. I love uh, Christmas. <laughs> no, I love Christmas because I love everything about Christmas. I think it's just so much fun. Um, I love Thanksgiving because we have our tradition that we always go to New York for my husband's family, and that's just a big party, fun, four days, and everybody looks forward to it. And um, and I love New York City, so um, that's always a huge treat. Uh, and I also really love Passover. I've gotten really good at it. I make all the incredible the brisket, the, you know, the whole deal, the Seder plate with my harosit and all that. And I, I even made my own Haggadah in 2008 because I felt like my husband wasn't giving it enough attention and wasn't picking out the important points. So I, and I really love that. And I just like tradition. That's what I like. I like to do these things and make a tradition for my family and my friends. And I think they would all say that too. It's really, everybody, it's a special time and everybody looks forward to it. You know, on my, when I'm working, the work weeks, it's very hard because I have so much memorizing that I don't really have time for anything. Um, I mean, I'll work and go home and spend the whole afternoon and evening memorizing um, because we just do, uh, you know, one take. We get here, we do hair and makeup and we walk out and we do one take. So you gotta be on your game. But um, if I have a time when I don't, when we're dark, I will totally read a book. Or if we go on vacation or anything, I love reading. And I have a Kindle, but I have to say I love uh, paper books, um, hard bound books, whatever, books with paper. <laughs> but um, I love that. I don't do much like marathon TV watching, but um, I do love to read uh, great books. And I always read at night before I go to bed. I last about a page because I'm so tired, but my husband will often read to me, and I love that. He reads to me a lot. Hey! Hey! <laughs> um, I do have a lady uh, who's been with me for probably 25 years or 20 years that comes to my house uh, weekly, uh, and that's my favorite day. Fridays are my favorite day because um, she's there, my gardener's there, I'm usually out in the garden with the gardener, and um, I feel like it's spring cleaning every week. But um, other than that, I do do it, and I do go to the market, and I do um, keep my own house. And I, I was my mom's housekeeper, which was actually kind of a blessing because I really know how to do it. I was the best, if you know this about shag, you, have to, you used to have to rake the shag. I was the best shag raker. But um, anyway, I do it, and I do all that, but I do have a little help. Ooh. And I will tell you the answer to that is 
yes. And there've probably been three, I think three big ones in 30 years where I didn't talk to him for like a day or something, but it doesn't last but a second. Um, we're good friends. But sometimes, you know, you gotta have a blowout once in a while, right? A little bit, but we always come right back around to, we clear the air and we come back to solid ground. Okay, okay I'm here with Steven now and I'm going to try to ask him some questions. But I need to get out of this picture. How do I, do I go like that? No. That was a picture. How do I turn it around? Why do you want to turn it around? So I'm not in the picture anymore? You have to stop and start again. Okay. Okay, here's my question for you. In the beginning of the Patch and Kayla story, which must have been like, you know, 86 to who knows when, you, Stephen, Steve Patch was a good cook. Are you a real cook in real life? And if so, what do you like to cook? Am I a real cook? Um, actually, I'm a pretty good cook. Yeah. And my favorite thing to make is a huge Indian feast. Oh, really? I uh, make curries and, and rice and raita and That's her, her naan and chapatis and all that stuff. I love to make it make Indian food. I don't remember you ever bringing me over for that, but that's okay. Oh. Hey!